A new report labeled these 10 cities as impossibly unaffordable. It compared average incomes with average home prices. Are Chula Vista home prices impossibly unaffordable? Absolutely not. In this video, I'm going to show you two separate newscasts that talk about how impossible it is right now to buy a home anywhere in San Diego County. And then at the end, guys, I'm going to show you a brand new home right here in Chula Vista that you can own today for zero money down. All you need to do is assume their payments. You're going to be like, KP, how does that work? Well, I'll show you how this couple bought this brand new home, four bedroom, three bath, in Chula Vista, $750,000 total. They're a VA Navy couple, so they put zero money down. You can assume their loan and take over their payments and own this home today. So it's not impossibly unaffordable. Of course, you still need to have that income in order to qualify, but I'll show you exactly how to do that at the end of the video. First, let's watch these newscasts talk to you about how incredibly difficult it is to own. And then I'll show you exactly how you can own and why you want to, because Goldman Sachs says that real estate values are going to go up another 4% next year. Let's dive in. Well, it's not exactly the top 10 list that anyone wants to be on, but here it is. Hong Kong coming in at number one and San Diego number nine. It's not shocking. Um, I mean, we all saw it coming. Every housing market report we get here, the prices go up. Ryan Tannenberg is trying to buy his first home. After he graduated from college, he moved in with his parents in Scripps Ranch. He just turned 25. Most of the people I know, yeah, we are living at home. So this far out of college, you kind of want to move Beyond that, you want to be in your own place. But making that jump isn't easy. Tannenberg has been looking for over a year. And he's not the only one. A new report labeled these 10 cities as impossibly unaffordable. It compared average incomes with average home prices. Right now, the median home price in San Diego is about 925000 And the national average for a 30-year fixed mortgage rate is about 7%. What do you think your biggest struggle has been in all of this? Not having enough money? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, if we could all just get a loan for 0% APR for $500,000, we could all buy a house. But Tannenberg says not paying rent right now has been a big benefit. And if you are paying rent, you know it's the same story. For example, finding cheap rent in Coronado may be like winning the lotto. The median price of a one bedroom, 3,800 bucks. And you can see the prices get cheaper as you move north to Oceanside or inland to El Cajon. Experts say inventory for homes on the market has increased in the last 12 months, but it's still a seller's market. The most important thing I think for a buyer is number one to be realistic. Get educated by hiring a great team. I think the challenge a lot of buyers have is they look at homes and then they figure out what the payment is and they think oh that's that's never gonna work I'm not gonna be able to afford that. And Tannenberg has found something he can afford and has an offer in on a home. He is ready to make the next move. It's the age. It's, you know, you, you wait long enough and you're like, okay, it's time for some change. This next clip is with Stephen Thomas, the real estate economist that I recently saw at the Pacific Southwest Association of Realtors. He goes through exactly what the trends are right now when it comes to home prices. And you're going to get a lot of really great information from him because he stays so up to date with current trends in the market and what's happening all throughout Southern California. Also, to make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. Now let's listen to this last clip. Buyers are very educated. They know how much homes are worth so that they know when something's overpriced. Are sellers in San Diego County listing their homes too high? One study thinks so, finding that 34% of current listings have reduced to their asking price. These people have come out overzealous and they didn't spend enough time, time with their professional really arriving at price. Stephen Thomas is chief economist at Reports for Housing, an Orange County-based research firm. He says some sellers leave wiggle room for negotiations in their pricing and that could be a recipe for disaster. The dangers of overpricing is just being unsuccessful, A. 
Uh, you're 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 going to be on the market for a long time. You're going to be chasing the marketplace down. His research found homes are taking longer to sell. The average increasing to 80 days compared to 57 last year. Some giving up altogether. As of September, just under 7,000 people pulled their homes off the market this year. That number double what it was last year. There's a lot of homeowners that have been sellers that have been languishing on the market, and they're going to be pulling their homes off the market because where are we going to be a month from now? We're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, and that's a holiday market, slowest time of the year. One of the prime factors giving potential buyers some pause is interest rates. Right now, the national average for a 30-year fixed mortgage is in the high sixes, and earlier this year, it climbed over 7%. At the end of the day, it's how much is it going to cost me, and it, you know, what is that monthly payment going to be? Spencer Lugash is president of the Greater San Diego Association of Realtors. He says sometimes price reductions and sitting too long on the market can raise questions. A lot of buyers will see that as a red flag, and they kind of wonder what's wrong with the house, right? Why has it been sitting so long? This time of year, we typically see home sales slow down a bit, and with more inventory than last year, it could present an opportunity. As we move into holidays and they start seeing a little bit of a price reduction, it's actually a great time for a motivated buyer to kind of step in and potentially get a good deal on a house. So what did you think? Oh my God, the sky is falling. Real estate is way overvalued. Oh my God, it's never coming down. It's so unaffordable right now. Well, I just walked into a home yesterday at Cota Vera, brand new home development in Chula Vista. These homes are absolutely gorgeous. This is a four bedroom, three bath, about 1600 square foot home. It's got a Tesla charger in the garage. It's perfect, perfect for you to move into tomorrow. Best thing is the owners don't want it anymore. They're a Navy couple, they're moving. They don't wanna have those payments and they want you to take it over from them. You don't have to have any money Money down zero down payment you just take over their loan they're locked in too at five and three quarters percent interest rate you might think to yourself that's a little high i know interest rates were down in the twos back in you know 2020 2021 but if they do go down again you can always refinance if you've got any questions or there's anything you need at all in chula vista always feel free to dm me anytime guys and thanks for watching